Okay, so what we're we doing? We're doing mixed media mini morsels snack bag thingies. So I do eye cats. <laughs> uh, anyway, so this well, the prompt I am up to is color. I've taken my time to think about this one. I wasn't really sure where to go. So we've got this really colourful jelly plate, paint scrape off thing going on. There is some stenciling in, in here already. So I'm going to use this stencil as a guide. And I would like to play with my masking fluid, which I have not used yet, but I have seen it used before. And it looks like a lot of fun. So, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do on top of it. But, I'll just see where the mood takes me when I'm ready for that step. So, yeah, just using my pencil, plain old boring pencil. shapes and this lovely orange and yellow background it's very exciting <laughs> so what should we talk about well the British weather Whew. honestly this spring yesterday it was beautiful and sunny but it was cold and today it's a bit, it, to me it feels a bit warmer, but it's miserable. It's not raining today. Well, I think it has been on and off in places. I've seen some wet patches on the ground. But yeah, it's not really raining, really. It's not sunny, it's just grey. There we go. So let's grab masking fluid. It should be here. Drawing gum. Watercolour and airbrush artworks. Hmm. Stay of that brush. That's disgraceful. <laughs> Let's see this one. I don't know how thick I'm supposed to put this on. But I do know it needs time to dry, so whilst it's drying, I will have a really good think about where we're going with this. I think I'm going to just add lots and lots of colour over the top. See where we end up. This might not work, it might bleed underneath. But I can always try something else over the top of whatever we get. So, doesn't matter. So, play.
Now I can see that some of it's drying already, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave that to dry completely, and hopefully, we're back with an idea. I'm gonna start adding the colour now. I'm gonna start with this Vallejo teal because it's an opaque colour, and it will mask out some of this orange which is what we want. I'm going to use this uh, almost mosaic type stencil. Just going to put a little bit here and there. I'm going to try and get a full flower in here. dry that off and use up the rest of my paint and hope that the masking fluid doesn't peel when I start to dry it. So I'll let it sit naturally for a while whilst I use that up and then we'll see. Okay, so now we're going to try spraying through this stencil with my mini mister. Just hoping it's going to spray nicely. Um, I'll just grab my print to put across my lap. <laughs> I don't really want it on my jeans because it will go everywhere probably. Okay, and it's just acrylic paint and water. Ooh. It's going everywhere. Ooh. I think it's gone from just a stencil. Let me just stab that off a bit. Oh, nice. I like that. That's worked surprisingly well. Okay. jeans. Uh, we've got a blender. Uh, spare. Ah, I'll use this one. And I'm going to use this stencil. I was just going to use paints but Try something a bit different. It's called experimentation. Maybe we 
should add a little pink into this. Uh, you know, it's supposed to be colourful and all that. Oh, we got picked raspberry. Okay, you can sort of see that it's getting very, 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 very busy. So I think I'm going to make this stencil my last one. Uh, and I have some glitter. Ooh, let's use this one. I was going to use the dark scene purple, but this one is nice. I like this one. It's more of a pinky red. Pinky ready purple. I think it's supposed to be purple. Yeah, purple. not very opaque but that doesn't matter I think I've put too much paint on there. Dry that off a little bit. Okay. Now, moment of truth. I think you just rub it off. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. See where it is when you tilt it, you can probably see the light shining on it there. Yeah, so I'm going to start with the edges where there is no butterflies because I still want them to dry a bit more. I think. because of the, all the noise in the background but I 
like it. I can still see the flowers, sort of, if you look close. like um, we're playing with the negative space for this one Is that way up? <laughs> so I like that. Um, I think I'm going to do less to the background. We'll just add a little bit of something around the edges. dry that before I stick my fingers in it and spread it. Now I'm going to grab a black Posca finally. I'm going to grab this stencil. Again, that'll go the right way. Yep. There we go. And just maybe grab this. It's like a Byron sort of pen and just go around. Just to define them.
I couldn't smudge anything. Very, very colourful page. Colourful. There we go. <laughs> so I didn't I really didn't know what else to do for that page. Um I'm quite happy with the way it turned out actually. I love that masking fluid and I'll probably use that again. Um yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that quick little video. And please do come join the Mixed Media Morsels group. I will pop it in the description below. There's a lot there, more there than just these prompts. Um, oh, my nail's broken. Um, but yeah, these are the ones that I'm doing because I have other things to do as well. So these are just a nice little quick thing for me to do. So yeah, I'll leave the link in the description. Please come join us. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys.